Scott Morrison getting up in Canberra this afternoon on this. This morning he was in Sydney. He's travelled to Canberra to be with officials. So as this National Cabinet takes place, it's happening as we speak. What's expected from it is for the 2A process, those over 50 who need to be vaccinated to move forward a month. They were scheduled for June. It's expected to move back to mid-May. We've seen the states set up mass vaccination centres to allow that to occur. Kieran, one of the issues here is around people not wanting the AstraZeneca vaccine. So Brad Hazard, the New South Wales Health Minister, said this morning there'd been a 70 to 80% drop in health workers going to get the AstraZeneca vaccine. So how do you get everyone vaccinated? It is a concern. Here's Premier Gladys Berejiklian spoke at a business lunch a short time ago, and she spoke about a scenario which makes a bit of sense, I have to say, and that is where vaccination... Uh, sorry... COVID cases wouldn't be reported anymore. We'd only hear about hospitalisation. So she's talking about the international borders opening and she's talking about a situation we wouldn't record all cases because people are vaccinated. You just record hospitalisations. We have to change the way we think about the virus. So measuring cases every day isn't going to cut it once the vaccine's rolled out. Um, we don't really count how many people have a cold, but we do talk about how many people with a cold have to be admitted to hospital or, unfortunately, how many people succumb to the disease. And that's the way we have to think about COVID because when you open international borders, even though we're vaccinated, many of us might still get it, but we won't be hospitalised. We might still pass it on, not to the same extent. And if I get it and I'm at home for three days, but then I go back to work and I'm not infectious, um, I don't think the public needs to know about that. But if I end up in hospital... Uh, with severe complications, well, then that's something the public needs to know about. So I think we need to, and it's a very difficult conversation to have. Mm -hmm. And so this National Cabinet meeting on now, we know another area of discussion anticipated is around people coming from India at the moment and the high level of COVID cases there that are emerging in hotel quarantine. Now, Ray Hadley raised this with Home Affairs Minister Karen Andrews earlier in the week. We very closely monitor the situations that are happening across the world. Mm. Uh, we will take advice um, in, in terms of home affairs from our health professionals. But, look, I think that we need to rely on the health advice. At this stage, there is, um, there is no significant change in the advice in relation to India. So the WA Premier, Mark McGowan, expected to raise this. He's also made public comments a short time ago saying there are too many people coming back from overseas, too many cases in hotel quarantine. How are we ever going to get these international borders open, even with vaccinations, with those kind of attitudes? Have a look at this graph, though, of the cases in India, which shows you how serious it is, Kieran. It, it is a massively steep climb in India. Yeah. compared to other countries. And that's where Mark McGowan's concerns are coming with more and more cases being reported in hotel quarantine.